Welcome back to programming in C-sharp using ASP.NET. What I want to go over today is a short lesson on casting with data types. So casting, if I'd like to put an analogy here, is it's similar to the movies. And I say that because in the movies you have actors. And these actors have real names. Such as Hugh Jackman, if you've ever seen the movie X-Men, Hugh Jackman plays Wolverine. He has been cast as Wolverine for the movie. He's temporarily that character. That So he's casted as that character temporarily as Wolverine. But in real life, he's still Hugh Jackman. If we try and relate that to C-sharp and casting data types, it's similar in that you have a data type, for example, called int simple interest is equal to 10. So this data type has, has, I'm sorry, this variable has a data type of int with a value, we've assigned the value of 10. Now suppose that we want to temporarily cast this variable to a different data type. So what we do is we would say double complex interest is equal to double simple interest rate. So by doing this casting here, I'm casting this variable temporarily as a double. The following lines after this programming statement, simple interest will always be an integer no matter what. It's only for this statement where it is temporarily cast as a double, such as Hugh Jackman is temporarily cast as Wolverine when he was doing the movie X-Men. So it's very similar. That's why they call it casting. If I take a look lower lines, simple interest is equal to simple interest. plus 5. At this point, this simple interest is still an integer. Again, it was temporarily cast in this line as a double and we assigned it that temporary value because now when you cast it as a double it's going to convert it using floating point notation and it'll assign it to complex interest as a double. But now you've declared a complex interest variable and this complex interest variable will always remain a double. You're not doing casting, you're declaring it as a double. One other important point that you should be aware of is there's two types of casting. There's explicit casting, which is what I'm doing here. And then there's implicit casting. With implicit casting, you don't have to reference or do this type of operator what you just need to do is assign the variable the value of whatever it is to the new data type and this will C sharp will implicitly cast your data type into uh, a double as long as the byte size is less than the casted data type so for example if I did the following double complex interest is equal to simple interest. The C-sharp compiler will say that this is an integer. And an integer in C-sharp has four bytes. Then it will look at the variable that you're assigning it to, which is a double. And in C-sharp, this has eight bytes. Because the compiler knows that a double has more space than an integer, then it's able to successfully cast, implicitly cast this variable into this other variable that has a double data type. And that can happen. That can happen. As long as the assignee has a bigger byte size than the variable that you're casting it from. 
uh, and you should not receive any warnings on it. So this is an implicit cast, and, and there's many times when C-sharp will allow you to do this, where you don't have to explicitly say, okay, cast this into a double. Okay, this will implicitly cast it. You don't have to reference anything. Now, there's other ways to cast this also. There's a, a class called uh, convert, which has many methods available. So one of them is actually convert to double. So if I say double complex interest is equal to convert dot to double simple interest. Okay. Sorry, this should be simple interest also. This function here, convert, I mean, this class here, convert, has a method called to double, which will cast it, whatever you pass into this parentheses, into a double. You also have to int, to decimal, so I can use the following convert dot to int, blah, 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 and then assign that. So convert itself has many methods available to you to cast back. And that's it. That's a simple explanation on casting. Okay, so things we've learned is one, there's two types of casting implicit and explicit casting. The compiler will not give you an error in implicit casting as long as the data type that you're going from is less than, in terms of byte size, less than the data type that you're going to. Okay. And then we've also learned that there is a function, a, a class called convert that has many methods that you can use to cast, such as to double, to int, to decimal, to char, and they're available to you. Thank you very much, and happy coding.